Glory be to God. Hi, I'm Mama Mukbang, and I am coming to share with you another story that I think that it can enhance and help you in your daily life journey. And my question to you all today is, what is love? Hmm. I thought about this question that pondered in my brain, and that is, what is love? Is love just loving yourself and or your family members, or just choosing who to love? Deep, isn't it? These are the same questions that I ask myself, not just to you all, but I had to ask myself this question for a long, long time. And because of, well, for me, my answer is no. No, it is not just on loving yourself, loving your family members, and choosing who to love. Because according to God's word, Jesus loved us unconditionally and even laid down his life for us. Isn't that awesome? Now who will love you enough to lay down their life for you like Jesus did? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that great news? Isn't this great to know? so that we can have life and show us what true love is. That is the purpose. And that was the angle for why Jesus laid down his life for us. For me, being ready, readily, you know, for me, love is being readily available to the need of others. And you know what? Honestly, I can say that when my days seem weary, when I feel lost, when I feel hurt, confused, depressed, completely out of my mind, you know what? I go immediately to the Lord and I ask him, to take me out of the equation because you know what somebody somewhere is going through something very very detrimental or that is hurting so bad or don't have a direction or a understanding to know that God is a God that could fix and heal all things through love, through love. Believe it or not, love is the key and the essence that complete us, that make us all up of why and who we are. If we worry about why it is that we uh, take care of ourselves and not take care and count that we are responsible for others as well not just for ourselves because when I see someone walking down the street or if I see someone that is in distraught and 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 it just look like they just don't know what is going on disbobulated it is my duty to ask them are they okay and whether I want to hear the answer, yes, but if it doesn't come out yes, it's my duty to help them at that point. To the point where I, I give out of myself to them and do the best that I can to help them. When I think about all my problems... You know, it's hard, it's easy to say and hard to do. But when you turn it over to the Lord and when you give God all, not some, but all of your burdens, he will give you a purpose to live for and be thankful for. 
And that is to take your mind off of what you think is detrimental and bring someone in your life to help them. See, doesn't it feel good to help someone? It gets your mind off of who and what you think. Oh, glory be to God. Think is what you're thinking about yourself about the problem. About what problem you have. God has, oh, isn't he amazing? He has a funny way of doing things. And love is very unconditional especially for me I always ask the Lord you know it's not it's one thing to question the Lord but to talk to him and ask him questions he loves it so I talk to my God I talk to God and I ask him why did you design me in my makeup incomplete to be this way that I feel people emotions, that I try to, to help as much as I can and to give more of myself to others and less to myself. Because when you are outside of yourself, you don't have time to think about self because you're doing the good by doing for others. Glory. So when you, next time you see someone that's going through some changes in their life, think about love. Think about trying to see what it is that God wants you to know because love completes all. Not some, but all. It's Jesus in each and every last one of us. It's enough Jesus to go around that we should not be, first of all, in need of anything. Because it should be based on love, unconditional, without any, uh, any terms. Any any makeup of, of, of what I have to offer beside what you have in return for me. It shouldn't be based off of terms. Love is love. And if you got Jesus in you, which I know everyone does. I know for me, I thank God for the Jesus in me. But when you learn how to come out from yourself to help others, that's the best feeling in the world. You're talking about something delicious. Then you wind up going about the rest of your evening, night, morning. You leave with a good satisfaction and say, glory be to God. Was that just me that did these things? Was that me that gave and shared love? Oh, glory be to God. It's the best feeling in the world. Dare you to try it. I just wanted to stop by and tell you how good it is to love. And what is love? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? Because whether you know it or not, you could taste love. It's like a good yummy sweetness in your mouth that goes down into your soul. And it just feels so good. It just feels so good. So I want to just say that we are the vessel of Jesus and love is the first commandment. Love is our makeup. Love is in our DNA. 
but it's up to us to utilize it. It is up to us to share it. It is up to us to realize it. I dare you again to love outside from yourself and who you choose to love. It's a wonderful feeling. Glory, glory be to God. So I'm going to leave you with this scripture. And it is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. I love all of you all. God bless.